Hello, everybody. So glad you're with us today. I've got joining me today, Chad Schisler. Chad, glad you're with me. Absolutely. All of love it. We're all to a brand new week. It's a great week. It's going to be an awesome week. The weather is changing. We're in, moving towards fastly to the fall season. It's hunting season. Well, that's not for you hunters. I know that's got to be good. Hey, it's going to be a great week, and I'm so glad that we've got this time together because we're going to talk about all week long, we're going to talk about the goodness of the Lord. And I believe you're going to hear some great testimonies. I'm going to share some. I know Chad's going to share some. We're going to have some of you share some. But we're going to have a great week talking about the goodness of the Lord. I believe you're going to be greatly encouraged. Chat in the scripture. I love this passage of scripture from Psalms 145. It says, I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Listen to this. One generation shall praise your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. Yes. That is so awesome. Ted, I got to ask you, uh, you, you know, I've been thinking about this. I really believe the Lord, this is of the Lord for the week to share of his goodness. What is one of your favorite miracles of the Bible that maybe, you know, that stands out to you? Yeah. So, you know, like pastor, I've discussed several times, the Bible's full of miracles. Um, and for me, the biggest thing of, of studying the word is looking past just the miracles. So for me, I go into We'll go back to Exodus, and you know we, mm. we've been talking a lot in that yeah. as it is, um, but specifically the Battle of Jericho. You know we, we've come out, we're we're trying to take our land now. Our, you know the Israelites are taking their land, and I was looking at something. I'd listened to something, and looked into it a little bit deeper. You know they walked around the walls seven times. Yeah, and that in and of itself, you know that there was obedience, there was the miracles. Like they, they just were walked. quiet. <laughs> yeah, they they just you know they just went out for a daily stroll, and yeah. and then the walls came down on that seventh day. But the thing that I found was really interesting is if you think about a pile of rubble, you can't walk through a pile ah, of rubble. That's true. So for me, you know, after I l listened to this, actually it was Torn Wells who had actually said this in one of his songs that he was talking about recently. Um, and it really made me think about it. That rubble had to fall in such a way, not only for the city to collapse, but for the Israelites to be able to walk in to claim what was theirs. Wow. So the miracle wasn't for me just the fact that the walls collapsed, but the fact that it positioned everything for you to take what God had in store for you. Wow, that so, is so good. So yeah, I mean, for me, you know, to look at the miracles, you know, again, I think miracle upon miracle is in there, but whenever you really look at what did the miracle set you up for, I think mm -hmm. is even the bigger blessing and the bigger thing that God has in store more than, yeah, I can get you out of this. But this is what I'm positioning you for. You know, Chad, I know people would say, and that is such a good story. I think we said, and the walls came tumbling down and came down flat. Now, I wish I could have been to see how all of that worked. Yeah. But, you know, people would say, but, you know, that was years ago. That was thousands of years ago. The Bible said Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Have you seen God do something for you and actually your family now that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt? God done this for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm going to go a little bit different way, uh, just to be completely open. Uh, I had one direction I thought I would go with this. Uh, when Wyatt was, uh, Wyatt wasn't even born yet. Uh, this one's going to be harder. I thought this was going to be easy for me to throw out, and it, it, it literally just, just hit me. Um, and there's probably three people in the world that actually know this. So wow. this is going to be a little. Um, but we had hit a spot probably in about the second trimester. And we, we had come home from work or, and, you know, just some things happened. I'm just, I don't want to get into stuff. And I'm sure. sorry, guys, but I, I'm just, this is the goodness of God. This yeah. is how God works. Um. But we had a, a massive scare, and I'll just wow. say that. We had a, a situation, um, and we didn't have a clue. And so, you know, me being the, the husband I am, you know, I got to be strong in the situation and stand there and tell my wife in the midst of all this, that it's, it's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Um, so I immediately, I, I called two people 
that I knew had walked through a similar situation. And so they knew how to pray. And I, again, getting through this and I'm like, God, I don't know, but this is it. You know, I mean, everything, quite honestly, that was going on, just to be completely honest, said we had lost Wyatt. Mm. I mean, in every concept of my fleshly mind. Um, and, we, you know, we get through this 24-hour period, and we get back, you know, get back to the doctor and everything, and the doctor's like, there's nothing wrong. He's complete, you know, everything's fine. Every and I know from an outside perspective, you know, you can say, well, that's just, that's part of pregnancy. You know, things happen. And right, I'm like, right. I, I understand that aspect. But if we want to be completely right, walls fall down. Buildings get old. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you can always try to discredit what's going on. But for me, that was that trying situation, that, that moment. And I'm not saying it was a test from God. I'm not saying anything like that. But I am saying that there was a moment that we had an opportunity. And, but for me, it was just looking to God for that. And I believe and know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was in that moment that God was like, here it is. Because given the situation that we had seen, there should have been some evidence hmm. when we went to the doctor. But yet when we go to the doctor, there was absolutely nothing that showed anything. Was wow. Wrong. Wow. So I hope that answered your wow. question. Wow, no, I mean, that's I, good. You know what? That was your miracle. Yeah. And nobody will understand that but you. But it was the goodness of God. Friend, I want to tell you, God is good and doing yes. good things. All week long, we're going to be sharing testimonies. I want to hear your testimony. You can go to our website, right? Yes. yes. At ccoth.org. And just there on the front page, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a spot that says connect with us. You can send us a little message there. Um, you can also go to the contact page, which cool. is kind of at the end of the website. Um, and you can contact us that way as well. We would love to hear from you. I want to share your testimony. I want to tell you today, God is good.